I can tell who's on the way out. 25 shows, check the pair. I ain't going home, I'ma stay out. Hate you when they looking for a way out. I just sit back and let it play out. They say that music is the universal language amongst any group of people. A language that unites multiple groups of people from different cities, different states, and even different countries across the world. But one of the most popular genres of music in the United States today is none other than hip-hop or rap music. Starting out as a party genre originating from the Bronx, hip-hop is the very definition of started from the bottom, now we're here. One state that is less known for its love of hip-hop is Kentucky. When common people think of Kentucky, they think of the stereotypical white banjo players or country stars like Sunday Best and Tyler Childers. That is, until now. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass now more than ever, Kentucky is on the rise to stardom with several hip-hop artists coming up from good old Kentucky towns. These artists all share different stories and thrive at different levels, but nonetheless make a difference in telling the world that Kentucky has MCs too. Arguably the most famous hip-hop artist from Kentucky is none other than Jack Harlow, the Grammy-nominated mainstream artist whose unforgettable hit, What's Poppin', reached US Billboard Hot 100 charts in Australia, Canada, and New Zealand. Coming from Louisville, Kentucky, Harlow has recorded songs with artists such as Chris Brown, Lil Wayne, the Baby, and many more top-tier names. Harlow is also the first rapper from Kentucky to be featured on one of Double XL's freshman ciphers. It's easy to see that Jack Harlow has made history for Kentucky hip-hop. Next, we have the Louisville R&B singer known as Bryson Tiller. Although he's not a rapper, his music is still considered to be hip-hop, having instrumentals and lyrics that are heavily inspired by the hip-hop genre. Tiller was the first big name that people could call to when thinking of a mainstream hip-hop artist from Kentucky. With popular breakout songs such as Exchange, Don't, and more, Bryson Tiller quickly became a star with his unique voice and style. Like Jack Harlow, Tiller has worked with several mainstream recording artists including Drake, DJ Khaled, Rihanna, and more. With a net worth of $2 million, it's undeniable that Bryson Tiller has made big accomplishments as a hip-hop artist from Kentucky. Another hip-hop artist coming from Kentucky is the Red Fox Kentucky rapper known as Red Fox Playa. Formerly known as The 113, Fox's music has been featured on several news outlets, podcasts, and many more media outlets across the U.S. In 2017, a scholar from North Carolina studied one of Fox's earliest albums, Goodbye Not Central, and featured an article about it in the University of Illinois, Journal of Appalachian Studies. The article notes how Fox's album depicts his hometown of Knott County as a beloved place to grow up, go to prom, fall in love, and build community. Fox has also performed for several organizations including The Holler, and has even opened up for early 2000s rapper Mystical. While known as The 113, Fox's music video entry for Futuristic's One Take contest titled GOAT was one of the most shared music videos in the contest, with over 500 shares across the world. He also recorded a song with Tyra Madison, whose song Right Girl Wrong Time became a viral hit on TikTok and was placed as a top 10 song on the iTunes music charts. Now known as Red Fox Player, he continues to make music videos and songs independently as he chases the rise to fame. Next we have the Vico Kentucky rapper AOYZ. Formerly known as just YZ, the rapper was one of the first hip-hop artists from Eastern Kentucky to pull off a seemingly professional online image. His first music video, I'm Gone, featuring Tay Da Yee, was introduced it's with thousands of cool. views within its first night of dropping. After seeing success from his first music video, YZ continued to pursue music and decided to take it to the next level by flying out to high-end studios and recording his music professionally. YZ has performed at several televised MMA events and has even recorded a song with a well-known artist from New York, Skinny from the Nine. Along with Skinny from the Nine and himself, this song also features K Sounds and AC. K Sounds is another important hip-hop artist from Kentucky. Aside from making music with popular artists such as Skinny from the Nine, K Sounds has also worked with producers who have worked with mainstream artists such as A Boogie with a Hoodie and much more. His first album, Desire, was a hit to many amongst people from the region, as well as beyond to the people in other states. Desire is an album dedicated to K-Sounds' mother, who passed away when he was younger. Because of this, K-Sounds refused to say any vulgarity in the album, and talked about real issues that he has faced while growing up in the region. Many people respected this album, which caused it to become a hit. One more artist that has done numbers as a Kentucky rapper is none other than the Pifel originated rapper, Cold Heart. Formerly known as Lil Bug, Cold Heart made his big debut when he released his first single, Come Up. 
This song was spread across the region and was talked about by many, enough for Red Fox Playa to hear about it in Knott County. Since then, the two Kentucky artists have made several songs together, including a collab album titled 3P. Like AOYZ, Codeheart has recorded songs in several professional studios, including one as far as California. With many of his songs getting thousands of views per video, it's easy to see that Codeheart is another big influence on hip-hop in Kentucky. With all this being said, it's obvious that Kentucky holds a lot more hip-hop artists than what people realize. Each of these artists share their own stories, their own accomplishments, and their own way of expressing their art as rappers. But no matter what, their hard work and accomplishments will not go unnoted as historical pieces of art in Kentucky history. Who knows, maybe the next big place for rappers to thrive will be right here in Kentucky.